Yeah, how's camp been for you? Just kind of working at corner and. Uh, yeah, working at corner, getting in. Uh, you know, just improving day by day. That's that's the goal, and, and it's going pretty good for me. Where are you working right now? Uh, field corner. Behind, uh, behind Mincy. Mincy. Okay. Mm -hmm. The coaches have been really complimentary of the cornerback so far. Do you feel like your group is playing really well? Definitely. Like I say, you know, we've all got in, you know, made some plays. Uh, just, like I say, improving. Now, that's been the big focus, you know, day by day, not taking steps backwards. And the defense, the secondary is, as a whole, especially the corners, have, have definitely, you know, got yeah, their own. I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of coach is Melvin Smith? He's a good coach. He's high energy, you know, the same guy every day. He's, he's a, like I said, high energy level. Great expectations, high expectations. You know, he knows what he wants, and he's going to get the best from him. He's talking about how he, it's hard for him to believe that a guy like Chris Davis has yet to have an interception his entire career. How's Chris doing in camp, and what have you been learning from him? Chris is doing good. You know, he's been a leader, you know, not just a secondary, but also in defense. So, so he's he's definitely hungry. You can see you can see it in him and the way he practices that he's definitely hungry and, and trying to get better, and he is. How different is Coach Smith and Coach Martinez? Just it's, it's two different in their own, but, you know, Coach Smith is just, like I said, he's high energy. He's... He like, has not a lot of knowledge. He's been doing this 20 some years. He's, he's like I said, he has not a lot of knowledge that I want to gain from him. But this defense is having a different nickel. Really doesn't have a nickel at all. It's, it's base on this nickel and it's dime. It's with two stars. When you're that first corner after Mincy, Chris, how hard is it to kind of get into the mix when you have two guys who are so well established? Um, it, it's not. You know, you, you get in where you you know get your plays and and that that we rotate in and out and. Hey, you know, anytime I could go in and play dime and stuff like that, it, you know, to help it, it, get in and play. Have you gotten the feeling you're going to get a chance to play a lot? That the coach is going to rotate a corner? Um, he, we talked about it, you know, about rotating in and out, and that's the goal, you know, to get in, get better, and make plays. You know, whether whether it's the first group or second group. What were the things you wanted to work on between the spring, the off season, now and the fall camp? What were the things you wanted um, to, to really change in your game? As far as like off the field, you know, obviously wanted to work and get stronger in the weight room, you know, and I was able to do that. Um, but on the field, I wanted, you know, to work on the little things, you know, the little details, you know, like knowledge and knowing what what to expect as far as playing corner. What about in special teams? What would your role been this far? Um, you know, same thing as last year, you know, playing the same on kickoff, you know, punt and stuff like that. Um, working a little more returner this year, you know, trying to help out, help out the team. You think you can crack into the, the kick return game? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, get into that. And like I said, camp's not over. We still have time. Get any chances the other day when it was when it was live special teams on Saturday? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't practice Saturday. So. Are you the fastest guy on the team? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You Who know. else is in your league? Uh, Sam, you got Sammy Coates, Corey Grant. Um, I've seen the freshman run. I really haven't seen him. Like I said, I haven't ran against him, but I, I've seen him run the freshman running back. Uh, he's he's pretty Rudy fast. Ford. Yeah, Rudy Ford. He's, he's pretty fast. But yeah, like I said, definitely Sammy Coates and, and Corey Grant. That's speed. Nobody on defense? Uh, Threezy. Threezy is fast. He's on defense and he's fast. I know, you, I know you guys want to get yours as interceptions and stuff, but how's Nick Marshall and Jeremy Johnson doing as far as ball security? Oh, they're doing good. Um, they making smart plays, both of them smart guys, you know, learning the offense just as well as we're learning the defense. And like I said, both of them both making plays. You know, Nick had something like 25 turnovers last year in Juco. Or, I mean, does, does seem, it doesn't seem like that's the type of guy that would do something like that. Coach, uh, no, coach, coach is working with them. Like I said, we got the best offensive coaches, and they, you know, they're going to improve them and getting better and better and better. That's the part of camp, you know, coming in and getting better. You ever had a one-on-one -on -one race with uh, Sammy or anybody? Uh, I mean, we line up against them all the time, but um, you know, we did the, you know, testing back in the in the in the spring. But, no, but not nothing just one live, on one. you guys just stand up old fashioned. Nah, style. nah, we need to do that sometime soon. <laughs> I'm confident that I win, though. You know. <laughs> Jonathan, you just staying at one side or you playing both sides? Oh, I'm just doing field corner right now. Oh, are you, are you talking about both sides of the ball? Yeah, just doing field corner right now. What's the difference just to you between a field corner and a boundary corner? Um, when the, like I said, balls on the hash, field corner has more space, you know, has more good cover, you know, area to, to cover, and boundary corner is more involved in the run. Does that mean that you're not as good a hitter? Nah, nah, definitely. I mean, you, uh, the best tackling is open field tackling. That's the hardest tackling in football. So, you know, to be a uh, field corner, you have to be able to, you know, tackle in space. No, he's not your position, but how's Kyle doing back there and being on defense? He's doing good. He has the want to to get better. And, and like I said, he's a smart guy, so he's picking it up real fast. So he's doing good. You think he could hit someone pretty good? Oh, yeah, definitely. He's, he's, he's big. He's big. <laughs> you know, he's like 6'2", 200-something. He's big.